Hi guys, it's Alston. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can create a Google Gmail account for you. So if you have never created an email account in your life or looking to create a Gmail account, I just wanted to help those beginners with a step by step instructions on how you can create an email account which can be useful for you to send messages or emails or just use that email account a uh, gmail account through other google products as well so without further ado let me directly go into the video first you need to go into google.com and click on gmail link in that uh, right hand uh, upper side and click on the create an account button this will initiate the process to create an account first it will ask your first name and last name so according to your wishes which is the name you want to use for your email address you can enter it this name will be displayed to other users who receive your email messages so you can give the name as you wish you can change this also later inside your email account if you wish to also and next it will ask the basic information of your date of birth give it as you wish and a gender preference also you can select it as you wish here this stage it will give you a su some suggestions or ask you to create your own gmail address something about email address if you already don't know is that uh, the part before the at gmail.com it is called as mail id mail id is usually unique so does, that means like if I get got alstonantony at gmail.com, no one else can claim that same uh, mail ID. So everyone has a unique mail ID. So when you want to create a mail ID, always make sure that most of the time if you are you're just using your first name and last name, it won't be available because someone might have already grabbed it unless you have a unique uh, name or some spell differences you might get it so google itself will suggest you some uh, idea for the email address based on your first name and last name you just gave out so based on that it will give you some suggestion or if you don't like the suggestion also you can click on create your own gmail address click on that particular link and type your own mail id as you wish so if that mail id is available it will help uh, enable you to go into the next step if not it will say that it is already existing please choose a different one so you can use with gmail you can use letters numbers and period full stop and here you can see my mail id is available so i'm going to create a password just give the password you want to for have for your mail type the same password in these two boxes and click on next now it will ask you to verify your identity basically basically what happens is that email account is mostly used in almost anywhere in in the internet regarding whether you are creating an account you are creating subscribing for some services and everything so everyone creates email address even some are trying to create bulk email address for various sort of activities spamming or marketing or everything like that so what most google uh, email uh, service providers nowadays doing is they will ask you to verify your identity or something like that you what gmail is asking you to is making sure that you are not a robot it will ask you to uh, give a, a mobile number it can be from any country for example i am currently in india because of that it is displaying me an indian flag but if i have a mobile uh, number connected to a different country i can easily click on that flag icon and choose the country which i um, have my mobile number connected with that and give that mobile number and receive a otp or if you are just in the same target country just click on type your mobile number here and in, in this place google will only use this to verify it won't use it for anything else so give out your mobile number and click on next now you will receive an otp for example otp otp will be looking like g and it will have six digit number you just need to enter those six digit here you can also get a new code uh, by clicking on the link below if you didn't receive it once that is done click on next here something called uh, an adder recovery email option will be given to you what this option is means that 
for example if you don't have any email address right now basically you probably have to skip it but the reason for this particular email is let me read that uh, description the address where google can contact you if there's unusual activity in your account or if you get locked out so the reason is like for some reason you forgot your password or some reason you yeah, the password you used is not working or maybe you, your account has some unusual activity like someone hacked your account or something like that when you have a recovery email address when you're trying to recover that ac account using forget password or unable to access this email will be useful because uh, some kind of a recovery link will be sent out to this particular email address from there you can click and try to restart your account i will create a separate video for that so if you have an email account a different email account does not necessarily need to be a gmail account it can be any email address or if you, any of your family members or close friend which you trust that they might help you you can do that as well so whatever the email address you have you can click on it or if you don't wish to connect to a different email account as a recovery email you can just click on skip button here as well now again another option is coming for you for example it's asking whether do you want to add a phone number to your email account here you see we gave the phone number before also but that is just for verification purpose nothing else now google is asking whether do you want to add a phone number to your email account or not and it shows that google will use this number only for account security your number won't be visible to others you can choose later when whether uh, later whether to use it or uh, for other services as well so here also if you wish you can give your mobile number or just click on skip button for example i just clicked on next by after typing that now since i have entered that mobile number saying that i want to connect my mobile number to google uh, this particular gmail account now it's asking whether i want to do more with that number for example it is asking whether i, I want to receive video calls messages using uh, that particular number through google services and it's asking whether i want to subscribe for make a uh, google service including ads more relevant to you basically they will try to get personalized ad or promotion or something like that you can click on learn more button or more option or like me if i don't wish to do those things i don't want to share those i will just click on the skip button because i'm not interested in that so depending on your preference you can do that finally a review account info button will a screen will display with your name recovery email add email address you are going to create recovery email address all those information click on the next button here as well now the final screen will be privacy and terms where you can read through all the things if you wish but like they will give you all the information on what they do with the email how they control it what information you own what kind of terms and uh, conditions they have and also will give more control on whether you want to save your data into specific reason for example your web and app activity whether you want to save that or you don't want to save that when you don't save it what are the things you will be missing out when you save what are the features you will get and what information you will trade for that so all those information all this details will be listening according to your preference there is no right and wrong here according to your preference you can choose whichever the one you want and click on i agree button with that you have officially now create a brand new gmail account a google workspace logo and will load and you can see this is basically your email account pretty uh, blank there is no email right now you can manage this with this all the categories here you can create labels uh, if you want to organize your emails in a way you prefer so i like to keep a label something like personal mails uh, or messages and create a label for that so whenever i have personal mail i like to label it so at a later time i can easily scroll through it i can click on this button and it will make that a uh, right a uh, left side bar smaller i can click on create new compose and create a brand new email and send that as well when i click on the right uh, upper corner it will show the email account uh, mail id and as well as give me control on changing my profile picture by clicking on this camera icon as well 
so i can add a new profile picture from this particular location if i want i can do that as well here when i click on manage account it will give me more controls on managing your account with uh, extra layer of password security option that will be given for me here and i can do two factor authentication if i want i can do that and when i see the right left hand side tabs it will give me profile info i can see all the info used with my account if i wish i can change the information here if i want and if i go into the next tab which is data and privacy basically it will be giving you more information on wow the data and privacy availability for you and what are the things they are collecting what you can do and all those information will be stored here when i go into the next tab which is security here this is one of the most important uh, tabs which is mostly hidden in gmail basically it will give you all the needed information and action regarding security of your gmail account for example the first tab will be showing you recent security activity so whenever you log into your gmail account use your gmail account it will show you from which device it was used at what time what location and everything so in case if you see some kind of unusual pattern or unusual location on specific uh, uh, location you know that someone tried to access your account or someone is using your account without your knowing uh, so you can check those details as here as here and if you scroll down it will show you how you sign in, uh, sign in. so it will give you are you, are you using a two-factor verification if you want you can set it up from here uh, what is the password you want to change the password when was the password last change recovery email if are you planning to change the recovery email or not recovery email whether you want to verify it or you want to change those things as well so it will show all kind of security information security related to that so basically that is how you create a email account basically how you see the basic information how you manage certain action how you make it more protected as well I hope this video was useful. If you have any doubts or questions related to Gmail or Google Workspaces account, or if you have any other doubts related to digital marketing tech, leave me a comment and I will answer that for you. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you guys in another great video. Cheers.